I'm Julie. And I'm Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. Come on. <laughs> Look, we have two. He's got two hooters now. But I've seen two horns. I'll only be using the horn for necessities, like i.e. tunnels, turnings, blind bridges. Where Judy can't say, I will use the horn, but she will give you a warning. And you're not gonna make me jump? No? You're not gonna make me jump, are you? Promise? No. <laughs> so, we're gonna untie the ropes. I don't do the first. <laughs> if Martin doesn't go in the water. <laughs> You're making a meal of that, mate. I'm not. I don't want to go in. <laughs> Make a meal of it, yeah. I want to stay dry. You when go. you get on the boat. I can't film from the other side because otherwise we would have the sun in our face yeah. and you wouldn't see a thing but yeah so Martin's unhitching <laughs> Martin's just doing the back chains We're just going to go and get water for now, aren't we? Yeah. And then once we're filled up, the washing machine's going at the moment to use the last of our water that we've currently got. And uh, once that's finished and we're full up, we're going down the locks. So, bon voyage. <laughs> so here we go. It's been nice knowing you, Julie. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Life of luxury and peace and quiet now. He thinks it's funny. Right, the water's only just round the corner, so I'm going to walk. Yeah, the water's only just round here where those white bollards are. So, quicker for me to walk. hoping that uh, now that we're coming round a corner we won't actually be filming into the sun again yeah. we can hope I know, the wind's pushing the boat back out again. She's coming in. Finished. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. So, using your BWB key, you unlock this which enables us to turn the tap on. Martin's just going to connect the hose yeah 
we always have to carry a few of those plastic I lose attachments them. because the amount of times you leave them on a hose pipe, a standpipe is unbelievable. Everybody does it. And boaters usually carry spares. We certainly do, don't we? Right, that's it. And Martin's going to run the water to let it go through the pipe and make sure there's no old stale water in there and then hand it to me in the boat. I've got this all ready. And I believe Martin's just about to hand me the hose now. Thank right. you. And if I can just show you, we have this clever little thing that Martin has added to our hose so that we can turn it on and off rather than having to try and pinch the hose and have water go everywhere. So I can now put it into the hole. Martin's already run the water off and then I just turn it on. Just like that. And we've got a 680 litre tank, so we could be here a little while. I might put the kettle on. <laughs> so the water's all done. It's now time to go. And the lock is already open for us. So using our Pearson Canal Companion Guide, um, the Leicester Line and River Neen. We start at the mooring at the top of the Foxton Locks. We do all 10 locks down to the bottom, turn left and end up mooring just after the footbridge. Yeah, I'll get them for you, sir. Don't worry. Just realised that we've left our fenders down. One side. Yeah. I wouldn't worry too much. Nicely done, mate. It's <laughs> in lock one, and he'll soon be going into lock number two. They are quite deep, these locks. But ten to do. So this is one of ten. And the same as the Watford flight, you've got red paddles and white paddles. The red paddles take the water from the side pounds and put them into the next lock and then the white paddle takes the water from the lock and puts it into the side pound. All clever stuff. This was done hundreds of years ago. None of this computer wizardry. Just simple, logical physics just wanted to show you from above this clearly shows you the side pounds next to each of the locks and here you can see the incline plane that we spoke of last week and an image of how it looked back in the day so just to explain further we're currently in lock number one and the red paddle then takes the water from the side pound and puts it into the next lock lock number two and then the white paddle then takes the water from the lock we're in and puts it into the side pound. So that's why you always do the red one first. It's red before white and you'll be all right. Here's another old image that we found of the locks. And now back to us in the locks. Top lock number one. going. This is lock number three. In last week's video we used the drone to show you the locks from above. 
In this week's video, we're trying to show you what it's like to actually work the locks from inside the lock and from outside the locks. So hopefully you'll, you'll enjoy this. You in? Yeah. Go. Cool. Martin into lock number three. And this time, the Rocky's going to do the red one, and I shall do the white one. He's just showing this other couple how they work. So he's doing the red one. And I'm going to do this white one. So we're just doing the Watford Locks at the moment first set of the uh, staircase things up there working with the rockets now the ice is gone we can actually get moving we've been stuck here for a couple of days now or quite a few days bad winds nice to be on the move again it's not going to go far if we get to the bottom we might more up there for a little while where we'll get a couple of bits in the shop but yeah brilliant all right let's we'll move into the next one Not bad, Martin, is it? Three done already. Three done already, it's not yeah, bad. Most of the gates at Foxton Locks have actually been replaced over the last few years so you can see it's all fairly new wood and they were a lot easier to use than most. <laughs> How you doing? Well that's the first five isn't it? Yeah, we're halfway so we're ready. Yeah. How long does it normally take? About 45 minutes. Oh now that's some serious water coming in there. This kind gentleman helped us all the way down the locks. Isn't that lovely? It's a shame I never caught his name. Just hope this by wash doesn't catch Martin. Oh, he's done that perfect, as usual. Lovely. In the top left of the screen, you can actually see the Foxton Canal Museum that we went to last week. Yep. You enjoying it? Yes. We're more than halfway. Lock well, number six. I them the Watford lock, so I might be told off. <laughs> it's the Foxton yeah. lock. I don't think I could drive the boat down the locks. It looks like he's going over the edge here. Not long now and 
we'll be at the bottom. Years ago, a woman actually fell into one of the side pans. She was sucked down and popped up inside one of the locks. Thankfully, she was okay, and they've since added gratings to stop it happening again. I don't know if you heard that bump, but Martin actually went over something there. We're not sure what it was. The locky well, seems to think it might be a log. Right. He's done the red one and I'm doing the white one again. Okay. It's certainly a good workout doing the locks. <laughs> So lock number eight already. Wow, it goes so quick. Just two more to go. Just two more to go. The time went so quick, we really, really enjoyed these locks. And having help all the way down with the lockies and that other gentleman really made a difference. It was fantastic. And the last lock, lock number 10. You're going into the last lock. Yeah. Well done, you. Yeah. Can we go back up on now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go backwards. Let's go back up. <laughs> And as quick as that, we were at the bottom. Didn't take long at all. <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. Thank you very much for your help. Very very kind of you thank you that's it box and locks done thank you thank you
did it. <laughs> after that boat so we're just going to moor here for a little while nice and open plenty of solar so we've moved around a bit we just realized that that was the service point where we were going to try and moor and you can't moor on a water point <laughs> so we've moved around like we're going to move to here the only tree is that one there but it's only a little tree and there's some armco because we just could not get in where those rings were at all whichever way we tried and it's just wispy little bushes this side so with the high winds coming in we should be okay so here he comes our third mooring spot. <laughs> First one we found out was the services so we can't moor on there. The second one the rings were just evenly spaced that it didn't matter where we went we could not tie up and Martin could not get a pin in it was concrete. So hopefully this is going to be third time lucky. I'm hoping he's going to like this spot that I found. <laughs> hey, the sun is already starting to go down. Yeah, it's 20 past three, so we do really need to be mooring up. We haven't had any lunch. We just had a bowl of cereal each, so we need to get inside and get something to eat and drink. And I need to check the internet and see if we can get a video uploaded. Thursday tomorrow <laughs> cutting it a bit fine third time lucky eh yeah. so we're getting hungry now aren't we it's nearly half past three <laughs> Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes, perfect. That's it, Martin's done the back. He uses a little a little rope to do the back. And I was going to come and do the front because my chain is the opposite side. <laughs> it's not that far to walk back to Foxton though, is it? Oh. So, I quite like this. Yeah. You just left that for me to do. There's some beautiful views here. Look over there. It's lovely. And then behind me, you can just see through even more lovely views. Very nice. It's official. Swans do like Rice Krispies. This is a lovely pair of swans. They're so gentle. Not like the one that we had at uh, the top of the Foxton Locks. 
Asbo Swan. He's a gentle pair. That's it, that's enough. Later that night, the moon was so bright. I took these photos at midnight. It was beautiful. Quite a loud boat there, but they've just gone off. Uh, Martin's going to test the horn. <coughs> Good Lord. I do hope he does stick to his promise and doesn't make me jump. <laughs> so, let's get these ropes undone. Bye oh, nice one is, we're coming back later. We will do. If it's not today, it'll be another day. We have two friends to see us off. Itsy and Bitsy. <laughs> That's what we've named them anyway. Lovely pair of swans, really patient, really They're gentle. Really gentle. But we're coming back this way for a little while. It bounces and it's an unbelievable knot. You couldn't do that if you tried. <laughs> and again! Oh no, it just kinked. Just, oh, it's just kinky. That was just kinky. That was just kinky, that one. Don't you dare split your trousers, because you'll be on camera. Ta da! Well done. <laughs> Right, you jump on and then I'll uh, I'll pass you back your camera. Say goodbye. Hi. And we're off. Join us next week as we continue our journey. And if you've liked this video, please give us a like and consider subscribing. It's totally free and it really helps our channel grow. Thanks everyone. Oh, and don't forget to leave us a comment. We love reading them and we answer every single one.